So let's consider the integral that goes from minus 1 to 1 f of t dt <coughs> And let's assume that that equals to some weight w1 times the function evaluated at t1 plus some weight w2 times the function evaluated at t2. Okay, so let's see what happens here. If we let f of t equal t cubed, and then let's evaluate this guy. So we'll call this star, right? Let's evaluate it. So we have the integral from minus 1 to 1 t cubed dt. If we evaluate the integral, that's 1 fourth t to the fourth evaluated in minus 1 and 1, or that's equal to 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, which is equal to 0, and that's equal to w1 t1 cubed plus w2 t2 cubed. All right. Now, let f of t equal t squared and do the same thing. Likewise, let f of t equal t, do the same thing. I apologize. I skipped ahead of my notes. This should be one third, one third, one third, so that this is one half. Finally, let f of t equal to 1. And so let's let's label these equations one, two, three, and four. So we have four equations. We have four unknowns: w1, w2, t1, and t2. Uh, so we want to solve one to four for w1, w2 t1 and t2. And if we do that, what we end up with is that w1 and w2 equal to 1, and t1 equals to t2 equals to the square root of 1 third. All right. t1 equals to minus t2. This is a little more clear. T1 equals minus T2 equals the square root of one third. So if we write that down again, the integral 
So minus 1 to 1 of f of t dt is equal to w1, right, f of t1 plus w2 f of t2. Now let's just plug in our values up there. So w1 and w2 are 1, so it's just f of minus the square root of 1 third plus f the square root of 1 third. So what this means is, this is pretty special, right? Because what it means is we can evaluate this integral exactly by only by only evaluating the function in two locations, right? So we don't even need to compute the integral. We just evaluate the functions in, in two locations and we can get this the exact answer. And so if we go up to higher than two points, so if we extend this, then we'll have the integral from minus one to one f of t dt is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n w i f t i for n points. So the points are called integration points. And so this equation is exact for functions that are polynomials of degree 2n minus 1 or less. So for this, we have n points, so 2, so 4 minus 1 is 3, so this will integrate poly up to cubic polynomials exactly. And so we won't, you can actually, uh, you know, to do what we did to, to evaluate what the weights and the points should be uh, for higher order polynomials, it can become a little wieldy. Uh, there's a straightforward procedure using something called Legendre polynomials to do it. Um, but quite frankly, these tables of integration weights and values have already been generated for us. So there's no reason um, there's no reason really to, to go through that. We can just use, you know, all we want to do is use the Gauss integration. So um, I'm going to set up a little table here. So if we just use one point, we, the value of t where we evaluate the function is 0. The weights are 2, and it's valid of up to degree 1. So if you have a, poly, a linear polynomial, this, all you have to do is evaluate the function uh, at 0 and multiply by 2, and it should get the exact integral. For two points, then you have minus five, seven, seven, three, and plus point five, seven, seven, three. So of course, this is equal to minus square root one third, one third. This is the example we just did. The weights are one, one, and it's valid up to polynomial of order three. So if we have three points, then the, the values where you integrate, where you evaluate the function are seven, seven, 459, 0, 0, 0.0, 0.77459. The weights are then 5, 7, 7, 3, 1, 1, 0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0,
five, 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 five. And this three-point integration scheme is valid for polynomials up to order five. <clears throat> okay, so then check the web for larger tables. So meaning, you know, I've seen tables you can, that go up to say 200 points. Uh, so you can just check the web to find those uh, because you, it's unlikely you really want to copy them down from my notes here. So let's work an example. So if we have the polynomial 100 t to the fifth minus 43 t to the fourth plus 75 t cubed minus t squared plus 5t plus 10. And if we use two-point evaluation, to in, we want to evaluate this If we evaluate it, so we evaluate the function ti so we're going to build a little table here. So ti is for two-point integration, 5, 7, 7, 3. This function evaluated at that location is 18.8466. Our weight is 1, so we have minus 18. Sorry, this is not. There we go. So we have minus 18.8. 466. If we evaluate it at plus 0.5773, then you have 28.624418. 28.6244. Okay, so if we add these two together, then you have 9.7777. Alright, well that's not very good uh, if you evaluate this integral exactly. I'll show you what the exact answer is in a minute. Um, but obviously, we said that for two weights, it's only valid up to polynomial three. And here we have a, a, a fifth order polynomial, right? So let's do the correct thing and evaluate it with three points. So here we're going to have minus 0 0.77459. The function evaluated is 72.6954. The weight is 0.5555. So we have minus 40.3864. We have zero, the function there is 10, the weight is 0.8888, so we have So here we get 2.1333, and this polynomial is quite easily evaluated analytically, and the exact answer is 2.1333, right? So our Gauss integration scheme evaluated this polynomial exactly.
So for area integrals, which is what we need here, we've been talking about 2D, 2D domains. So for area integrals, we have Well, we can replace the inner integral with our Gauss integration scheme. And then we can replace the outer. So now this is just another function. This is just another, so we can just apply the same thing again. So we have the integral now. So that equals i from 1 to m, j from 1 to n, wi, wj, f, si, tj. And so an example here. would be if f of t is equal to 100s cubed t squared plus 5st plus 5. So we'll have si tj f si tj wi wj W I W J F S I T J. So I think instead of writing in decimals, I'll just write one third minus one third. So here you get point two five one six six four. W I W J is one. Uh, by the way, this is we're using two by two quadrature, so two points in each direction. Two by two quadrature. Quadrature, just a fancy word for integration. And so then over here, we're going to have minus one third plus one third. That's going to give us minus three point zero eight. One six seven again one minus three point zero eight one six seven and we're gonna have one third minus one third it's gonna give us thirteen point oh eight one seven one thirteen point oh eight one seven and then finally, we have one third, one third minus two five, one six six four, one minus two five, six six four. All right. So then we add all these up, and it should be easy to see these two cancel each other. And then you have 13.0817 minus 3.0817, so your answer is 10. I'm oh, sorry. Which is also the exact answer.